right, so we're here in a brand new environment with Magnus. He's never been on this side of the park before. Hi, handsome. All right, you want to come out? This is also his first time coming out of the car. So <laughs> I'm wondering how he's going to handle it. Hi, do you see this? Would you like one? It's important to take time with your dog. Hi, is it too big? So if they do need help, it's okay if you can lift up a large dog like Magnus. So for him, hi, how are you? I'll just pick him up and put him down. I'm not gonna start asking for behaviors right away because he needs to adjust and see what's going on. Now you'll also notice that I have his harness on here, which is a signal to him that it's not like official training time. Um, I train my dogs with a harness and a collar. So I actually use a very large, loose martingale collar to signal that it's training time. And right now I just want to absorb, get into the environment. And that's why I have his harness on. Nice. I'm just waiting for the right behavior to happen. So he, this is his breakfast. He's got his kibble in um, my pouch right here. And I'm just kind of waiting for that eye contact. Now I might have accidentally instigated that, hand, that looking at me because my hand was over here at the pouch. But I want to, it's a little bit of a misfire of the click there. But I just want to reinforce when he starts to look at me. And his, his focus is actually coming in pretty good. I'm surprised at how well and how quick this is happening. And I'm choosing a very low distraction environment. You can see across the park over there, there's a lot of cars, there's a lot of people, there's dogs, there's bikes, there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on right there. So I want to introduce that slowly. Um, I just kind of want to, <laughs> he's being so good. Um, I just want to introduce that slowly, but I am really surprised that he's doing so well in this environment right now. So we're going to look at maybe doing a little bit of loose leash walking warm up here, see how he does. Let's go. So you can see once we started moving, his attention started to wane a little bit. He's hearing some people over here and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to him for him to offer behavior. It's just a lot of patience when you're working with any dog. Young puppies especially. Let's go. He's not in a perfect loose leash heel. Which again, uh, my criteria right now isn't super high. Over across the way we've got some people with their bikes. Let's go. Magnus, let's go. But he's really keying in on those people over there. So we're gonna stop and we're gonna take a minute to just let him remember what he's supposed to do. Misclick there too. What he's supposed to do, which is look at me and not at the distractions over there. He's popping in really good. I'm gonna go horizontal back here, back and forth. Let's go because I don't want to keep getting closer. I want to make sure that he's okay in the general area first. So again, I'm not going to call his name. I'm going to wait for that. <laughs> that was good enough. He didn't look at me, but he started going back into that heel position. Doing really good, buddy. Magnus. He needs more practice on turns, but that's okay. Magnus, nice job. Yeah, yeah, I know. So again, I'm not keeping this super tight. That will be my goal. But right now I'm just looking at exposing him to different things and him being able to focus around me with those different things. I'm not gonna get frustrated. Like this is a puppy, this is a fun time. This is the best thing in the world to be doing because you get to spend time with your dog. 
and you get to learn more about them as you go. Is it cats that they're more distracted by? At what level? <laughs> nice job. He was really confused with that one. He's like, wait a minute, what's going on? Let's go. He looked at a car, looked back at me. That's all I'm looking for. I know. Let's go. I know. You really want to sniff right now. And you're looking at the people. Gonna wait it out. Let him think about it. If it gets to be too hard and he waits too long, I might creep closer if he's that far away. Just to remind him that I'm here. Again, not saying anything, just creep closer. Very nice. He's looking at some people from across the way. Misclicked. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Good job. All right, we're probably about, what, 40, 50 feet closer now? Magnus. It's like, you mean I can't sniff it? Nice job. All right, the bicycle people are coming closer. There's more speed being added. You can tell he's looking at me really well. Good job, mister. Very nice. Very nice. All right, that was actually pretty good. We've got one person hanging around the truck over there. He's keying in on. Different smells. We'll just stay right here. Looks like he's packing up. So my next goal, we worked around the bicycle distractions pretty well. Got a lot of behavior being offered there. So now my next goal is to move a little bit closer to the park itself. My end goal is I want to eventually, and we're probably not gonna get there today. You know, that's, that's an unrealistic expectation. Thank you for not getting that. Good job, Butster. Uh, my end goal is to get to the very front of the park where people are coming and going. That can be a very high distraction area. And every time someone passes by, I just want him to look at me. So we'll probably end up doing that over the week. And I think hopefully this guy with the truck will be leaving soon because they generally make a lot of noise when they leave. He's got a d diesel engine, you know? <laughs> Now, if you're noticing with him, he's also keying in on, I think, what are dirt bikes behind us. So if he looks back at me, even from the dirt bikes, you know, anything that's distracting him, I'm just going to be reinforcing him looking at me. Oh, that's so cute. Hi, what you doing there? All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and move in that direction. He's probably gonna be fine at the end of this uh, parking lot, but I just wanna go over there to make sure all of my bases are covered to make sure that it just isn't too distracting. So we're going to go ahead and move. <laughs> yes, that's the happiest walk. It's so cute. So I just want to chill here for a little bit. See what he does. So he's definitely much more interested over here, but we got some good eye contact there. Let's see, where are we at? Oh, very nice. There's a small dog coming out of the car over there. Very good long eye contact. I like that even more.
Got some cars coming by. Very good. So this is literally having everything that's a distraction as a cue to look at you. It's very simple, but a lot of people who are new to training struggle with this behavior because they are not aware of the environment. And you can't expect your dog to be aware of the environment and being focused on you if you don't have that same skill. Very nice. Okay, so we're getting some longer eye contact even without distractions starting it. Let's go. We're gonna go hop back in the car and park at the furthest place away from everybody and all the distractions that we can think of. Probably by that yellow green tree over there. Let's go. All right, so he's probably not gonna jump up. Again, this is only gonna be the second time he gets in the car. You wanna try? Do you wanna try? He's like, I, I would prefer if you picked me up. We'll work on this in separate sessions. Oh, we got paws, wow. Okay, you wanna try again? Get your paws up, wow, what a big man. Go get that treat, go get it. Go get that treat. He's like, ah, I can do front paws. <laughs> a little scary, a little confused. Very nice sit. Here, why don't you go to the Are you kidding? Can you hop up? You got it, you got it, go, 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 go. You almost got it, good, good. Yay, good boy, good job. Woo, hello. Good job, you did it. You did it. Nice job. We're here over on the other side of the park, much closer to more distractions. And we're only moving on because Magnus showed that he has the ability to focus some around me with those little bits of distraction over there. Hi, Magnus. Are you tired? Are you already tired? <laughs> Look at this face. Let's get a zoom up on this face here. What does that face say to you? <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. You ready to go? He's like, yeah, let's go. There you go. You, I can't believe you crawled up in that car all by yourself. All by yourself. Come on. There we go. What a good man. So we are just warming up in the environment. There's nothing moving around right now. There are a bunch more cars. But already he's offering a lot of eye contact to me. <laughs> Let's go. Which lets me know we can probably bump up the distractions a little bit. Magnus, come on over here. Good job. So the person's walking away with the bike. I don't know if you're getting any of that. Can you zoom in on the bike over there a little bit? And the thing about an environment like this is that there's so many people coming and going, even if your dog is mastering it in this environment right now, yeah, he's looking at me, I'm ignoring him. Guess what? I'm starting to, to fade out the reinforcement a little bit. He's even adjusting himself. He's like, are you sure? Do you see me? I'm doing such a good job right now. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, honey, I do see you. Now also notice how I'm looking away from him. Like we're ramping this up pretty quickly. He's learning pretty fast and you need to make sure you are a trainer that has the skills required to do this as well. Or if you don't, guess what? That's what we're here for. We're all learning right now, right? Hi, I would like you over here. Nice job. So I'm also trying to reinforce him when I'm not looking at him. I'm trying to mark, mark the behavior while I'm not looking at him. Now, of course, I marked for him looking away. That's okay, right? I want him to know that reinforcement is still coming even if I'm not offering him eye contact. Okay, so we are moving along really quickly. He's really good with this right now. We don't have any dog distractions. That, that's something that a lot of dogs will find difficult as well. All right, let's go. Let's go. 
All right, we've got some grass here. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's not sniffy time just yet. So now we've moved across. You can see how distracted he is right now. Which again, it's fine. Let them absorb the environment. Nice job. Got a car coming in. Good distraction. Very nice. You are doing great, mister. So proud of you. Let's go. Got another car coming in. Over here. Hi, I see you. Come over here. Got some bikes coming in. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for that one. Let's see if he catches on. There we go. Very nice. So at, you, you noticed how long he was staring at that distraction, which is totally normal when you're first doing this. Again, you wanna, you wanna be practicing this, you know, at least once a day if your dog has trouble with distractions. If, if you wanna have a, you know, really speedy recovery from this. But you know, you can do it. You can do it once a week if that's what your schedule allows. The important part is that you just get out and do it with your dog and you start reaching your goals. Will you be a little bit slower? Yeah, and that's fine, yeah, right? Not everybody moves at the same pace. Yeah. You're doing so good. You wanna get a little bit closer? I think he does. <laughs> All right, you ready to go, Magnus? Let's go. Magnus. So he's a little bit ahead of me. He's a little bit zoned out, doesn't realize I'm here. So what I can do is actually step forward and remind him, hey, I'm here. Aha, there we go. Very nice. All right, so he's good with that. All right, you ready to go? Let's go. Nice walk. I love it. All right, coming opposite. We've got some more people coming this way. So I'm also working on some loose leash walking at the same time. It's not my main goal. I'm not going to freak out if he doesn't do it perfectly because my first goal here is just eye contact. Good job. So we had a bike that passed by pretty close. Nice. All right. Well, let's go. Very happy prance. Doing pretty good. Let's go. My little Magnus here, he gets two cups of food every day in the morning and two cups at night and one to two cups in the afternoon. So this training session is lasting us a very long time because we've got two full cups of kibble to be working with. Your dog may not eat all that. So you may have to have a shorter training session.
Now again, we still haven't run into any dogs yet, which is unfortunate because that probably means they're gonna come out of anywhere. And we might not be prepared for that. We saw that small dog earlier that was coming into the park. They could be coming up at any time. So since he's been doing so good, I think we're just gonna leave the session here for now because I wanna end it on a good note while he's still doing well. And I don't want him to be too distracted. All right, you ready? Let's go. get those happy feet. So there's two dogs that actually just came to the park, which are actually walking this way. Let's go. There's more noises happening. All right, let's run. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you. All right. I'm going to call that a wrap. Very nice. All right, can you do it again? Can you come up? Pause up. Nice. Oh, you're doing it all the way? You're doing it all the way? Do it, you can do it. You can do it. You got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. Good job. All right. Now if we can just get his tail in, we're gonna be perfect. <laughs> Hi, handsome. You should go me on. All right. <laughs>